My name is Dr. Laz, and I teach at the Quest Center in Hollywood, Florida, and that's a uh, center for special needs, so I work with individuals with profound special needs. I would say in almost every case of someone, a student who I've had with special needs, they've always been able to do more than I thought they were able to do. Really all too often what I've seen is that uh, they tend to be put in a role that's sort of a, very passive. And so the project was really geared towards helping these students, these individuals, to become more active participants. Come on, big guys. Hey, let's go. All right, let's give it up for Patrick. You ready, buddy? So, listen, every time you hit this switch, you're going to be operating your drums. Okay, so let's just see here. That's working. And look, when you hit this switch here, I'm just going to show you. Okay, when you hit that switch, that's going to activate your drums. All right, you ready? See if you can get your, your, move your leg on it. There you go. Nice. Awesome. Good. Try one more time. Awesome, bro. You got it down. So we hooked up adaptive switches, and so suddenly these kids are now participating right from their wheelchairs by using a knee switch or a head switch. Nice. Nice. Good job. I think the goals of the program in two words were motivation and participation. There's no better intrinsic motivation than the expressive arts, you know, where suddenly a kid becomes a singer, a kid becomes a dancer, a kid becomes a performer and you see the kids come to life. The NEA Foundation grant was absolutely critical to this whole project. I mean, it, it gave us the tools to work with the students and to, to bring these awesome educational gold mines of, of the expressive arts and place it right on their laps. The critical piece, I think, is really opening up that door and we're suddenly the child or the student says, wow, I can, I can do this and, it, and it's awesome.